look at the dissociation of a strong acid. The example we'll talk about is hydrochloric acid, HCl. So we see here the dissociation of the acid is going to produce hydrogen ions and chloride ions. Uh, now, you'll note that I'm using an arrow here which indicates full conversion. We consider this to be 100%. The reality is that less than 0.01% of the hydrogen chloride molecules will actually stay bonded together. So that's only one in 10,000 molecules. All the remaining 9,999 will break apart to form hydrogen ions and chloride ions. If we apply a rice table to this, we can better understand the conversion of reactants to products in this dissociation. So we have uh, an initial amount of HA, this would be our HCl. We have an initial amount of hydrogen ions and the anions, this would be the chloride in this case. Those would be starting out initially as zero. Now the change, we would have the conversion of HA, HCl, um, into hydrogen ions, chloride ions. So we'd have a reduction here in how much HCl is present. We would have a gain of plus X for both the H and the A minus, uh, or the H plus and the Cl minus. We'll have the value of positive X and positive X for both the H plus and the A minus, in this case the Cl minus, because hydrogen chloride is a monoprotic acid. The equilibrium will be established at this point. This was the initial amount of HCl subtract the number of HCls which have been broken apart. Uh, so in our example of looking at the percentage which remains HCl bonded together, we would start out with a number here of 10,000 HCls. We would have zero of both H and A minus. Our change would be that there are 9,999 which are going to be converted. So that's our minus X. We'll wind up with 9,999 gain here gain of 9,999 here. Our final equilibrium, we will have one remaining HCl, which is still bonded together. The remaining 9,999 will have been broken apart.